People don't come to a design agency with a detailed project roadmap in place. They mostly have a foggy idea of what they need, and designers have to somehow figure out what exactly client expects to see in the outcome. How do they cope with this challenge? Using an iterative design process, the only way to ensure your design will be a precise fit. I'm Ilya, the founder of Alekin Design Agency. In this video, we'll talk about an iterative design process, what it is, why people use it, and how it works. If you're new here, make sure to like this video and hit the subscribe button. We've got a a ton of valuable insights on SaaS business and product design to share with you. Now let's get started. First of all, let's define what iterative design process is. Iterative design process is a series of steps that you repeat tweaking and improving a product with each new cycle. The goal is to get closer to optimal solution step by step, iterations underlying design thinking as well as agile and scrum methodologies. I've talked about design thinking and agile in my other videos, so you can find the links on top right corner or in the description. Now, why do people use iterative design? There are some obvious benefits for both designers and their clients. The first one is that iterations save time and money. They allow you to identify and therefore fix design flaws early. Also, iterative design enables the team to leverage lessons learned so designers continually improve the process. Finally, it involves all stakeholders in design process evaluation. This guarantees that design would reflect their interests and they would be aware of the project's status throughout the life cycle. Though the iterative design is indeed effective, but only few companies apply it correctly. In most cases, they would have a big team with designers. PMs and researchers, then investigate the case, define a single and perfect plan, implement it, and then it turns out they've missed something crucial. And here is how the iterative design process should work. First of all, you need to split the scope of the project into tiny bits. In UI UX, we usually iterate user flows one by one. Each iteration goes through three stages – creation, testing, and evaluation. We take the first flow and make a guess on how it's going to work based on our initial research. Then we shape our guesses into a wireframe and send it to approval to the PM, tech lead, or whoever is responsible for giving approvals. That's the stage of creation. The PM then highlights the ideas they like and the ones they don't. We also conduct user testing at this point. In the end, we gather feedbacks and leave to reflect on it. There is the stage of testing. Next, we come up with new ideas on how to improve the mockup based on the feedback we got. That's the evaluation part and that closes the loop. Where the first iteration ends, the second starts. You review your solution, refine your guess, check the revised version, and and repeat until everyone is happy. But it's important to do it quickly. The more often a product owner or other representative can negotiate designers intermediate results, the faster the design process moves. And that's how you make your way to an effective solution. To sum up, remember, design is a process, not an event. It means that it can be finished, users needs change, so does the market, and so should design. And while a non-iterative design process is just unsuitable for constant improvements, an iterative one is how you can turn good design into a great design. That's all for now. I hope it was useful. Hit the like button and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.